Everton beat Ipswich Town at Portman Road on Saturday. The Blues' first victory on the road since December the 16th last year uh, when they beat Burnley 2-0. It was a good performance by Everton. They certainly deserved the victory. The only sort of gripe you'd had after it would be they could have won by more goals, really, than what it was. Uh, Sean Dyche was asked about his thoughts on the game. This is what the manager had to say. Yeah, really pleased. Um, very professional performance, I thought. A very thorough performance. Um, obviously, a lot of noise about two gold leads. I thought we, we delivered a very strong performance defensively today to make sure we looked after that lead. I mean, certainly not so much work on the train pitch, but reminders of games when, you know, we have seen games through. We've seen them through with our professionalism, seen them through with our effort, uh, work ethic, and also the shape of the team. And I thought that was all on show today to make sure we saw that game through. It was, of course, Everton's second clean sheet on the run following up from that Newcastle game, uh, which ended in a goalless draw. The manager, I'm sure, will be delighted with the two clean sheets. This is what he had to say about the growing resilience of his team. No, I agree. I spoke to the players after and I said, look, with all due respect, this club's done an amazing thing getting to where it's got to. But they haven't got our level of experience. I thought that was good because I thought I agree. I thought we showed that today, the, 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 the way of... Um, managing the game in different ways, you know, defensively with the ball, still looking effective, still creating chances and find that nice balance and that work's got to continue. Um, you know, and it's, like I say, it's no disrespect, it's done amazing, they're, they're fighting for everything which they need to do, of course. I've done that with another team and it's, it's difficult. Um, but I thought we showed a bit of authority today with our performance all round. The last time Everton did win away... Michael Keane was a goal scorer in that 2-0 win at Burnley. He was at it again at the weekend with an absolutely tremendously taken goal. Brilliant left foot finish into the roof of the net to give Everton that two-goal cushion. He had a very good game at the weekend, Michael Keane. This is what Sean Dyche thought about Keane's performance. Yeah, I mean, you know, Keane always had a lot of question marks over him. And what happened? We all, by the way, you know. The, the, the club has a high demand and the fans have a high demand but keep note to be fair to him you know what people forget is he's out there every day he trains every day he's played through all the question marks he played recently at Leicester with a really bad dead leg might have, might have suffered other players might have suffered and not made it and he, and he deserved to stay in the team I thought and I kept him in um, Jared's close to being fit and possibly could have played but I feel he needs another week's training as well to make sure that his body's right but I thought Keno's delivered a very good performance there and an excellent goal but he is, he's a very good finisher um, just one of our there you go. Excellent win for the Toffees at the weekend. But one player who was missing from the squad was Jesper Lindstrom. He wasn't amongst the Everton substitutes. The manager was asked about Lindstrom's absence. Jesper Lindstrom, um, illness. Yeah, illness. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of that in the camp and it was too too much for him to get down here. Um, so he went down with it Thursday. Beto's had a bit of illness as well, but he managed to make it. And finally, it was a good day all round for Everton teams at the weekend. Everton's under-18 side beat Newcastle at Finch Farm. Justin Clark scored twice and Braytham Graham with a penalty gave the Young Toffees a 3-2 win over Newcastle. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the final word, which is available now. See you later.